This, my friends, is the world's most needlessly expensive pop filter for $60 for my Electrovoice RE20. Ironically, the picture they put on it is not the RE20, but yet it says right there. <laughs> I don't know. The Repop is the perfect solution for reducing P popping. Designed for RE series mics, it also fits the, fits the high LPR40 and Procaster mic. Hey, <laughs> hey. Pay close attention to the installation instructions in order to work most effectively. Must have one inch space between the screen and the microphone. This is the Repop RE20, but they do have a RE320 pop specifically designed to look good with the Procaster, Procaster and RE320. Remove screw to open the clamp. Place two clamps around the mic. Make sure you have a one inch gap. Latch the claps. Yeah. All right. How the hell do you open this? This isn't like a can. That is actually a legitimately good question. There we go. Haha! I don't think that's how I was supposed to do it. The repop itself here. This is why I got it though. It is super small, non intrusive, non invasive, non obstructive of my screen, and is made perfectly for this mic. Bring my mic down. It's even basically the same color, so I gotta undo the screw here, of course. Completely remove the screw. Then put the clamp around the microphone. It says one inch of space, which basically just means I pull it to the end of this bracket here. And you clamp it back on and I'm actually gonna put a clamp over on the bottom so let me flip it here it's just a super rough cut I just want to take a quick look at this and then screw it back in I believe yes I'm not no I was like I'm not sure how that's supposed to reach but it has a lot of give it just doesn't want to go on its own Tighten that sucker in there. I'm not tightening it at all. Come on, grab the threads. It does not look like well placed. Hold on, let me pull the mic up. There it is. That is the BSW Repop. $60 pop filter for a $500 microphone. I don't like how like uneven it looks. Um, I'm gonna have to play around with it, see if I can get a better result of the angle here. But I guess if I turn it back like I had it, put it up front. Yeah, no, this is like totally off. Oh, there we go. That looks a lot more centered. So that's what I'm gonna be talking into for videos from now on for desktop videos. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this quick little like demonstration. This is just like a demonstration and like impressions video. I've already used this pop filter at radio at the radio station before, so I already know that it does good. I've just never, you know, it, it performs well. I've just never used it in my own home or installed it myself. And for sixty dollars, I wanted to see what you get. You get a piece of candy on the little attached to the shipping notification, and then you get this very strange assembly process of the pop filter and I was able to tighten that all the way back so that works okay so that is the pop filter hope you enjoyed if you like this smash the like button see you back in a more formal normal video